Good afternoon. 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 Let me ask you this question. Are you proud? Yes. Yes. You're proud of yourself? Yes. Why? Because I think I achieved what I wanted in my life. Great. For you. Yeah. Sitting behind. <laughs> You see, it's a very typical question. When you ask people, are you proud? The answer is most likely yes. When you ask them why, sometimes they struggle with the answer. I didn't yeah. struggle. You didn't? <laughs> For most people, they struggle. Why are they actually proud? When I was a young little boy in elementary school, I was number one in the class. Always the top student. Second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. I'm always number one. And I got used to it until I got into high school. And when I got into high school, I met my worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever hated someone for no reason? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. For me, his name is Turkey. Oh. Now, why did I hate this Turkey? Turkey was everything that I wasn't. I was a shy, isolated student who sits in the back of the class. The kind of student that you look at him and say, yep, he's going to grow up to be a serial killer. Yes. <laughs> Turkey, on the other hand, was a very popular student. He clicked with everybody. He was very social. Everybody loved him. <coughs> Turkey was a handsome young little man. Me? Look at this. <laughs> and to top it all off, at the end of each month, the teacher gets a list of the top 10 students and hangs it on the wall of the class. Kind of a motivation to everybody. And when he hanged the, the list of the, after the first month, I looked at the list. <coughs> Turkey was first, and I was second. For the first time, I came in second. Oh, I wanted to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Next month, I'm going to do extra hard. I'm going to beat this guy. So I worked harder than I've ever worked in my entire life. And after the end of the next month, the sheet again on the wall. Took his first, and I'm second. Mm -hmm. You know what bothers me the most? He wasn't even trying. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a student like this who just doesn't study, just walks in and just poop? He gets, the, he gets the full grade. That was Turkey. Three years of high school. Every single month, Turkey is number one. I was number two. And I was filled with hate and anger. Why does this guy get to win and I get to lose? We both finished high school. See, I lived in a small town in the south side of, of Tehran. So after we finished, Turkey applied for a, a university within our small town. I always wanted to be a doctor. I applied to the same school too. I got accepted. But then my dad applied me somewhere else where I got a scholarship to study in the United States. Do I become a doctor and pursue my dream? Or do I go to the States while he stays here? Oh. <laughs> you know what? School might be. <laughs> so I went to the States. And I studied for four years, graduated with a, an engineering degree. Came back, I'm working in an oil company. My salary is really nice. Life is good. But in my mind, I kept on thinking, what have happened to this guy? <laughs> so I called some of my friends from high school. Not him, because we don't talk. <laughs> so I called my friends and, hey guys, how are you doing? It's been a long time. Yeah, how are you doing, man? Everything is great. By the way, how's Turkey doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he finished his bachelor's degree and now he's doing his master's degree. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've never even thought of doing a master's degree. <coughs> Why does this guy get to win and I don't? I went to my boss and said, I want to take some time off to do a master's degree. He said, dude, we can't. You have to focus on your job. You know what? I need to be this guy's mother. I got promoted within only two years. I bought a fancy new car. I bought my first house. 
when I was only 26 years old. Uh, I bet Turkey doesn't have a house. <laughs> <laughs> Few years later, I called my friends again. Hey guys, how are you doing? How are you doing great? <laughs> By the way, how's Turkey doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he finished his master's degree and now he's doing his PhD. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every step of my life, I was trying to prove that I am winning this race. There is no way that this turkey could win. A few years later, I bought my second house. I won the World Championship of Public Speaking. I'm all over the news. I bet nobody knows me here. <laughs> And my entire life, I was just trying to win this race. Why does this guy get to be better than me? It all came crashing down last year. I flew to Abha in the south to see my family. And one day I was in a coffee shop, and as I was walking outside of the coffee shop, I saw him. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> I haven't seen him since high school. And when he saw me, he smiled and he hugged me and I hugged him. And, and then he asked me the question that I've been waiting to hear from him all these days. <laughs> so, Muhammad, how are you doing? <laughs> how am I doing? <laughs> Let me tell you how I'm doing. And I started to tell him everything that I've achieved. A great job, the money that I have. I even told him how much my salary is. <laughs> You know, I won the championship, I'm sure that you saw me on YouTube. Yes. And with everything that I've done him, I'm looking at his face. Because I'm waiting for that look. I'm waiting for the look that says, yeah, mm. I lost this race. <laughs> I was waiting for him to admit the defeat. But with everything I'm telling him, I notice this guy is smiling more and more. What's wrong with this dude? <laughs> Why is he happy for me? Why isn't he sad? And then after I finished my accomplishment, I looked at him and said, and uh, how are you doing? <laughs> then he told me that he got his PhD and now he teaches in the same university. Teach? <laughs> how much does that pay? <laughs> he said, it's never about the pay. He said, ever since I was a child, I wanted to become a teacher. And now, I get to do what I love, and I get to be paid for. Every morning when I come to work, it's not even work anymore. I'm doing what I love. Oh my God, he still won again. <laughs> <laughs> but what I also realized is this. This whole race between me and him was something that I created. This whole race, it was just me. He wasn't even in it. Mm. I have made up my entire life just to beat someone who wasn't even racing. He gets to do what he loves while I give up on dreams just to prove that I'm better than somebody else. You know, today at the end of the day, some of you will win first place. Some of you will win second place. Some of you will not even place. And then you might go back and sit down and think, why did he win and I didn't? What does this person have that I don't have? You want to know what true happiness is? If you have a dream, regardless of whoever is around you, you achieve it and that's what true happiness is. Somebody else achieves something else, fine, great, congratulations. But that's not what I want. I want something. The only race that you are in is the race of you. Thank you so much for listening. Allow me to give you some Yay! Everybody smile. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>